hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to extend the specific view in the odoo using the poses and as attributes what is the purpose of the poses and attributes we will see in this discussion with the real task tab and in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend the view using the poses and as a replace attribute option please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn different topics in odoo side you can visit playlist in the playlist you can see odoo development playlist available with different topics here with different real task tasks apart from this you can see two other playlists also available python tips and editor level tips all right and if you need any support related odoo you can go to about page in the about page you can send your query to this email address and you can also support this channel using two ways buy me coffee or the paypal or using this join button so let's make to our main topic like how to extend a view using a position as a attribute here all right so yeah first you have to understand is like let's say now you can see here the roll number is here right in the roll number field you want to add some extra attributes if you don't know the extra attributes you can see here like odoo training custom add-ons in the student profiles views and here here you can see this is a tag name this is attributes right this is called attributes in the field level attribute have a like attribute name and the attribute value like this so if you want to add or like let's say you want to deactivate a specific attribute that time we can use position as a attribute so let's say uh, i think you can see this is our new module especially for the inheritance views and our last session was position as a replace right so here in this case let me comment this code past and try to create a new schema and then after we will see the real task case model school dot student make sure the spelling mistake is you don't have any spelling mistake otherwise it will write the error so inherit underscore id and here we are using ref arph and the type is the xml so you can see this is our basic html schema is done here now this is the time to use or oh, let let's say extend the specific view let's say this form you let me copy this uh, xml id let me add here the top in the first position as a dot and i will use this module line why i'm using this one i already explained in my first session of the how to extend the views you can check that section also and here this is the basic schema is done and we are ready to extend this for you so now like let's say you can see here this field name so in this name field this field is not required in the front end view right so here what i will do is like field name and here i will use position attributes all right don't forget this s and here we have to use attribute name like this so here like i will add required and here we have to provide the specific attribute name and here we have to provide the value i mean the one one means it will require require this field now i'm trying to upgrade the module wait might be you confused i'm not using the terminal here i'm using the pycharm configuration like this 
here my have like list of projects plus you can see I configured Odoo directly in the PyCharm and whenever I will restart the service it will automatically upgrade this module alright so if you want to do some like this configuration this discussion is also available in the playlist and you can see the editor level playlist this session is also available so let's say I'm going into the front end side and trying to refresh the page you can see the name field is required now onwards so let me create a new student profile now you can see the behavior is also changed this one right not only this one like let's say you want to add more attributes you can use like this like read only and one so simple whatever the fields we are using here like required then after read only then after invisible then after editors right then after the domain if you see here like all are the attributes for the specific field or oh, let's say here the class or oh, let's say the widget right so if like let's say if you have some requirement and you have to add those attributes you can use using this attributes like this all right so you can see here and yeah one more thing is you can add multiple attributes like this way. so this is for the first attribute this is for the second attribute so let me upgrade the module here and I will try to refresh the page all right so you can see this name feed is read only now I can't edit this one and if you hover here you can see read only and the required both are the true right if I choose this existing student you can see still this one is read only so now you can see this roll number right this is a roll number and this is not a required attribute uh, like let's say here we have one more and regular like let's say requirement is here let me upgrade the module so what I did is in the main view in this main view I add here this attribute required equal to true so if you see here I'm trying to refresh the page now this field is also required right if I try to save you can't save it because the roll number is blank so let me add like this and then after it save the record so sometimes the requirement is there like this read on like this required field you have to remove so for that one like you can use the same thing here previously we used this one right the field you can also use with the xpath make sure you have to use expr as a attribute position attributes and here we have to use field name and here we have to use the role underscore number like this and here simple we have to use like required and we have to provide as a zero zero means it the specific field is not required in the front end side so we basically we deactivate this required attribute so let me upgrade the module and now I will try to edit you can see the roll number is not required now onwards So here it means like when you use the attributes as a position that time you can add a new attributes like this also you can override the existing attributes and you can change the behavior also alright so this is the main purpose to use 
position equal to attributes and i hope you clear all these sessions like position equal to attributes position equal to replace position equal to inside position equal to before position equal to after what is the purpose of different x path like this like this then after parent child concept like all using the x path and using the field so this is the last session about the view inheritance all right and don't worry the code is also available in the github you can just use as per your reference purpose and now onwards like upcoming sessions is to extend all these views like how to extend the list view how to extend the form view how to extend the kanban view how to extend this calendar view graph view pivot view and all all right so i hope you understood the basic concept of the field and the x path tag and especially the different positions with different options here i hope you clear about this session and in case you have any doubt related this session please comment below and see you in next session